I mean, that's gonna be my first game after a very long time. And I also get to play on the map Dunhero in a one-on-one. Against somebody who pre-picked Gondor and I get to play with the Rohan faction. Ew, I don't like this, bro. That's my least favorite matchup in this game. I'm gonna try something different, you know? To make it at least a bit more entertaining and more fun. Dunhero, a huge map. I don't like this map that much, but it adds a bit more diversity in the map pool of the arena. Many, many creeps which are not protecting anything. Many, many outposts that are free to be taken. You too, my friend. You too, meet. Okay, so what is the plan at the beginning of the game? We have a couple of options. And I will actually try to creep with my Mary and also one peasant battalion. And capture those settlements outside with additional peasants. That's the ultimate strength of Rohan. That you have the craziest production speed early game. You know, you have like basically three, four barracks. Even though you need to pay money for your peasants, but still, you can ditch out the most, uh, the swordmen in the shortest time, you know? Okay, we always need to send the Hobbit forward a bit earlier so he can tank the damage. And also the zoom. I need to zoom in a bit more. I think that's good. Okay. So the plan is to send the Hobbit forward first. So our peasants stay healthy. Ultra important. And we can also pressure our opponent to just see what he's doing. Okay. Beautiful. Mario Rock Brandybuck, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's take this farm from him. I think he's creeping because I haven't seen him on the, on the map yet. And when we put the Hobbit behind like this, we can also share experience, you know? That's why we got level 2. Get this one. So we'll have in total 4 outer settlements. It's important because outer settlements give you more money than inner settlements. Not only because they start with level 2, but also they give you faster resources, you know? Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna go for a stable this game. I'm actually gonna rush my most favorite hero from Rohan, who is Legolas. The prince of the Midwood Elves. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Pretty much the same situation. Send the Hobbit forward first. More farms and the last. And then we will save up to 2,800. That's the requirement for... Our Alvin hero. And we also pressure my opponent at the same time. Beautiful. And all, you know, we only went for two more extra peasants. Because the map is not super important for the, for the swordman. The distance you need to walk is quite long. And if he goes for the steel, his horses are going to be out super quickly. So your peasants will just feed power points, you know. Okay, level 4 Hobbit. Unfortunately, my peasants couldn't get the last hit. And I'm pretty certain that he's creeping too. Actually, pretty certain about that one. Yeah, he was definitely creeping. So I'm gonna go for the for the Hobbit. Let's kill Pippin. Show him who the boss Hobbit is. Show him who the real Hobbit is. Oh, he healed a little bit too late and my Hobbit is just stronger. I'm gonna put him into the tower actually, so he's safe. Oh my god. Okay, we destroyed one of his farms. There's only one more farm outside. We have a good map control. And we'll actually get the chance to go for our Legolas super early into this game. That's awesome. We are in a strong position in this game. Oh, he doesn't want to fight. Because he has no more heal. In a 1v2 situation, our peasants will eat those soldiers alive. Come on, give me the money. I mean, Legolas is extremely powerful hero, especially on a map like this, because here you, you have plenty of creeps, so you can uh, get your Legolas highly leveled before you have to take any uh, non-favorable fight. And with enough levels on him, he will hit the hardest, okay? He's going to be the strongest archer hero by far. His DPS, and also he's shooting super fast, so he's not going to only hit like a truck, but also he's gonna uh, speedy speed blitz, you know, every opponent he's touching. Even Gandalf doesn't stand a chance. Once we have like level four, five, or six, 
if you are Legolas, I mean, when you're level 7, it's over anyway with the Arrow Volley. But even before, like, 4, 5, 6, you have such a big DPS that nobody can stand there and thank you for more than 5 seconds, you know? I mean, of course, in exchange, he's kind of weak in defenses. His defensive capabilities are not that strong. Okay, so we will also go for Gimli. You can't go for Legolas without going for Gimli. What about a friend, side by side? We need 2,000 for the Dwarf of the Lonely Mountain. And Hoaxrike. So when you want to creep the lair, I always prefer to use the Knife Fighter. Because the melee damage against structures is always, you know, superior compared to the arrow damage. So we can get the creep done way faster. And there is also a creep at the bottom right side. We're going to be taking that one next. That's going to bring our Legolas up to level 4. Which will unlock the train archers and we keep up the pressure oh he's wanna he wanna creep this okay i see you bro maybe i will try to steal with my hobbit mary level five a very strong hobbit he's coming at me he's coming at me okay we need to dodge because he's level three soldiers they will hit super hard even level two and you my friend go to the bottom right side to creep Get a pass in so we can recruit this outpost over there. Oh, be careful. I want to actually take the creep. He went for, even for the tower guards, but joke's on you. I'm not even planning to go for the steeple. Hold on a second. Oh, he stops the attack. He stops the attack. Should I go for the hill? Come on. Do it. No. One more time. One more time. Oh, that's so close, bro. <laughs> so close. You have so much money, man. I'm going to go for Theorin. And uh, yeah, every side on this map, there are, it's like bottom against top, has two outposts. And the most ironic part about the outposts is that they are for free. There is no creep, no protection. So that's why evil factions are also pretty strong on this map. Because one of the outposts is ultra close to your castle. We will use this outpost at the bottom right side for eco. We will go for uh, farms around this. Bam, bam. And the uh, creep. The spot number three is going to be safe for the armory. When you play this game, by the way, guys, you know, multiplayer, you always need to have a pl uh, game plan in your mind. But when there is going to be action, there has to be a reaction too. So don't be static with your plan. Always try to adapt your playstyle to the playstyle of your opponent. Now, in our, ch in our case, he's not going for the stable. It means we don't need to go for the stable either. So if you want to go for the combos... I'm fine with that, you know. Rohan is extremely strong in the infantry department too. Especially when you start with Legolas like this, you'll have so much DPS and so much area damage with the uh, Hulk shot. Oh, he wanna fight this? Wait, when my Gimli comes there, Boro, you will be dead, bro. You better run. Okay, he's running away. Unfortunately for him, uh, for us, our Gimli is not level 5 yet. If Gimli would be level 5 there, rest in peace Boromir. Maybe Faramir could get away with the horse and mount, but Gimli just can't get away. We have good map control. We are pressuring, you know, continuously. It's only 120 resources. And uh, we are also going for Grand Harvest around this location, for example. Just to get a bit more money going, you know. More money never hurts. Otherwise, it's going to be difficult to keep up with the strong eco of Gondor, a faction that just has more settlements in the castle. That's why you has oh leggy boys, never mind. That's why you as Rohan has to always you have to always have more map control than your opponent because if it's just castle against castle, Gondor will be more wealthy than you. Remember, he also has the chance to go for the for the Grand Harvest or Iron Ore from his um, marketplace. Boromir. Not even level 4 yet. I mean, okay. So let's talk about the row strength in a fight between combos. I mean, infantry against infantry. We have Theodin, who will give us 40% more damage and 50% more armor. This alone is better than what Gondor has right now. Unless his Boro hits level 4. We will always have more leadership than them. And then, and then even if he gets level 4, we can always go for Aragorn and then just make it up. Um, the only thing we need to be, uh, you know, paying attention to is to not fight around the outpost where a Stichu might be behind. Stichu adds a lot of um, level 3. Boom. Oh, we actually missed a combo, man. That's unfortunate. Stichu gives so much raw damage power, you know. Go for the fire arrows. 
and all the upgrades. Once the upgrades are finished, we can demolish the armory. I'm gonna go for a stable too, just to pressure. Uh, there are two entrances, you know? And we will you use the infantry the army to pressure the top on. left side. And Why our horses, on the other hand, will, you know, pressure the top right side. So I'm basically, attack from everywhere, you know? I mean, these combos are super underrated. They have like good damage now. And the ones we actually didn't miss are also level 3. Each level will make them significantly stronger. It's a huge boost of damage and also health armor. And we have also given the level 3, who has the leap attack. So I think we have a huge advantage, unless again, he has a statue there that's gonna be bad if that's gonna be the case. So we need to kind of play around it a little bit. Oh, he's coming. Where is my Legolas? Where is the Hulk Strike? Take this. Kaboom. Oh, he never purchased the outpost. That's so good for us, boys. Boom, chakalaka. Level 5, that's another uh, great power spike for the for Legolas. Because that's gonna enable his um, leadership for the elves, you know? So we're gonna go for the outpost around this area. Maybe my Gimli can take the farm at the top side. Gimli, you go to the top to destroy the farm. Go there. There we go. And at the outpost, we build basically the same thing, you know, stage you well. Always build a stage in the front and one of them in the behind, in the back. Just in case one of your statues can get destroyed and then you have like a second one, you know what I'm saying? But our, we are basically spending all the money. That's the way you want to play. You know, you don't want to save money unless you want to save for a big uh, hero like Aragorn, for example. Other than that, you have no, ch you have no, ch you have no reason really to save money. Always spend. Spent money is good money. And unlike in real life though. Maybe in real life you wanna save a little bit. And again, every two minutes I believe we can level up our army for free. Give them free experience. You know, time is killing in our fever. So unless you're gonna go for trebuchet, which will be difficult, but you know, for that reason we are kinda getting ready with the Rohirrim. Always have a plan R. Plan R like for Rohirrim. And remember, there is always a potential in which our King Theorin can, you know, somehow get level 4. That will unlock the Glorious Charge too. So we should be in a strong spot right now, you know. Just want to make sure that the opponent is not getting too much money by destroying his farms over and over again. So they don't reach level 3, they don't give you a crazy amount of money. But I didn't see the animation on the, on the farm, so I think, oh, here's a big army, boys. Holy. But remember, quality beats quantity. Unfortunately, though, we are against uh, FOL. FOL means forces of light. Um, that has protection of the walls. So we need to make sure that we have to recruit the... I mean, go for the end mood to break the parts of the wall to get the chance to go in. And that will cost us 5,000 resources. So, And in a dream world, I want to build it right there in behind this piece. In destroying this level 3 farm is also going to be super beneficial. I want to keep attacking non-stop. He's waiting for me to get... Oh, wait a second, there's a creep. He's waiting for me to go for the outpost, but that won't happen. Mm, that I have no reason to go for the outpost. I just want to go for the base. Because at the outpost, he's the strongest, right? He has a well and a statue. So he's going to be there super strong. And why should I go for the outpost in the first place? You know, I can just ignore the outpost and go for the castle and force him to come to me. That's like the ideal situation. I mean, I'm, my fingers are actually super rusty. I can feel it when I'm playing it. It's so cold, you know? The game is like when you don't play this game for a few weeks or months, you basically underperform every single time, you know? We elves will help fight against Sauron. Men of Rohan. Okay, nice. Now we have also, also the shields. That's pretty good against arrows. And he remember, he remember, he has mainly arrow damage. So fire arrows and normal arrows. And again, like I said, every two minutes, level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. We are super, super strong. I really like that. Amazing. And I believe now we can rotate to the to the top side and then save up for 5,000. And while we're doing this, we will have a secondary army to try to take down the outpost from him. So if he doesn't uh, fight me, which he shouldn't, especially in this area, by the way, you don't want to fight. 
And the main reason for this is I've given the level 3. So in this area, it's a choke point. You will be kind of clumped into one single location, which will make the impact of my leap attack much more impactful. Go for the trample. Go for building goals. <laughs> okay, abort the mission now. Uh, he has too much regeneration there with the well, bro. Run, you fools. But we are tanky, boys. We are tanky. Our, our horses are not eating, I mean, taking too much damage. And we have a well. So we are good to go. Here we need to just sit until we have 5,000. So we can go for the siege. Could go for Aragorn, but I'm, I want to go for Entmut first. I mean, he has no trebuchet. He has no workshop in the base. So I think we should be good enough. Even if he goes for the towers, they won't be too impactful, you know? 4,000. Super. Let's go for this farm too. Just, you know, be annoying. Multitasking is super important. And almost 5,000. Give it to me. Build. Oh, he wanna fight. Oh, watch this, guys. Watch this. Like I said, it's a choke point. You don't wanna fight this. You want... Oh my god. Look, watch this. Gimli, where is Gimli? Gimli, 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 Gimli. Gimli, watch this, boys. Oh my god, that's gonna be crazy. Watch this. Please watch this. Go, 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 go. Kaboom. A whole level from one single leap. And we need to hero focus. Kill Boromir. You want to knock down my Gimli like this? Don't you dare, son. Oh my god, I actually lost horses there. Ooh. <clears throat> I lost a battalion though. That's, that's okay. Oh my god, be, be careful. Where is my Legolas? I have level 7. I'm going to use heal and an arrow volley them. Where is my Legolas? Boom. And arrow volley. Take this. Look there. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, you love this Legolas so much. Oh, he went for the Rohirrim summon. He want to fight against me with my own weapons. You need to be careful. I want to... I mean, we have such, such high level units, bro. You don't touch me. You don't just... Don't touch me. Okay, guys. I will give you one important tip. You know? Boom. Okay, level 5, Gimli. That's even better. Oh, he's not demolishing this. And that's what I that's the tip I want to give you. Okay, so when you play this game in multiplayer, uh, there are a few super important things you need to always keep in mind. And one of these things is to demolish your structures in time. When you demolish them in time, your opponent won't get any power points nor experience points on his units, okay? And the ideal time is right after it's hitting the yellow mark. So I would say 40 person HP mark, okay? Um, even though it's important to demolish every structure in time to just deny your opponent the whole power point advantage he can get from it. But remember, in this game, power points are super hard skilling and they are super important. There are actually three major structures you want to make sure to always demolish in time because they just feed too many power points. These are sentry towers from every faction. Remember the castle of, of Eisen and Mordor have also sentry towers? These are giving hella power points. And what does even more give more power points are wells from the good faction and the statues. These are giving like a quarter power points, you know? And this is super, super important because it kind of snowballs. Um, and you might get in a situation in which you have like four power points collected in total and your opponent is already summoning EOD on you or something. So make sure that you demolish them. And because they are squishy as hell, stay tuned well. Whenever you see enemy approaching and is about to attack, demolish it immediately, you know? Don't wait. Don't save like two seconds. In exchange, you will lose uh, your structure, you know what I mean? Okay, so we are turning this Gondor beast as usually into the Mordor beast. And I actually like the Legolas opening strategy. Maybe that's the strategy to go. Especially when you see Gondor is going for the for the combos, maybe against horses that's not going to be that effective. But against because you will lose the whole map when you do that, right? I mean, Kef is just the meta, especially on big maps, which Tanhero for sure is. So the bigger the map is, the better it is to go for horses. But in my in my case, my opponent didn't go for the horses. And I'm gonna just jump on them very very soon. Where is my Gimli? Where is my Gimli? 
Slayer activated. Go. It still only counts as one. Jump on them. You see me jump, 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 jump. Oh, not the best jump though. I could have been doing it much better. Oh, I will heal the dwarf. Big healing coming. Boom. Uh, okay, so you want to fight this? You really want to fight this? You can't fight this. Oh, we have even a Legola, uh, Therian level 4. You know what time it is? Bring the horses. Master the Rohirrim. Why are you laughing now? You was laughing at me when I was trying to steal your creep with my, with my hobbit. Go, Rohirrim warriors. I want to kill this Faramir so badly. Go on, Faramir. Destroy him. Don't give him the chance to show his quality. Oh, okay, never mind. And Orawa, gone the castle. Yes, only one outpost. And this outpost, I will take care of with ants. We have three ants, and we will also summon four more ants. And the ants are going to war. Come, my friends. I mean, I missed this game actually, now. It's always nice to play from time to time. And most of the time, I just don't find the time to play. And then I just find some good replays for you guys to cast. Because then I can also focus more on both sides. What's being made, what's wrong, what's good. Um, especially when it comes to cast the games between good players. It's quite fun for me too. But I know you guys are always, always asking me in the comments. Why are you not playing yourself? For that reason, I will try my best to kind of play myself also from time to time. To be completely honest, this opponent wasn't the strongest. But I'm glad because I'm also not in form. Against a good player, I would just get crushed. In Faramir, you will lose, my friends. Brother and sister, Eoma and Eowyn. I will not let you live. I'm gonna summon the elves on you. I will smite the enemy down. I am no man. Ooh, he's gonna live for now. I'm gonna kill this hobbit. Boom, boom. <laughs> Pippin, you full of a dog. Look, the ants army. I mean, that's, fu that's funny, actually. <laughs> Uh, GG my friends. I mean, I, I like this that he played until the end. That's super nice and brave from him. But yet again, I also got satisfa satisfaction to destroy every single thing from him. Besides uh, Faramir. Anyways, guys, GG well played. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. It costs you nothing but two seconds of your life. And also subscribe if you haven't already to the channel to not miss the future uploads. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.